Hey there, I'm Charles from His and Her Fi, and I'm always talking about one bag traveling, whereas you travel with only one backpack in my case. Well, instead of a packing video, I just came back from a six day business trip, so I am going to show you what I packed for my trip. Well, check it out. Okay, so this is the Tortuga Outbreaker 35 liter backpack. And let's start with the outside. One collapsible water bottle. And the nice thing about this is it rolls up super small, nice and compact. Boom, water bottle through the airport. Front pocket, this is the quick, easy access pocket. My business receipts, not too many this time. This bottom one, it's a deeper pocket, so I put snacks. It's also good for books. Now, going one more layer in, this is all my sleeping slash pencils. So, sleep mask, Lifesaver in case there is any light. Earplugs, also lifesaver. Yeah, I can't, I just wear them all the time because I need quiet. And then power bank for my cell phone. My USB cable is somewhere else. Pens, highlighters, all of that. Notebook. I don't think I have anything in this pocket. Nope. So, just all my necessities that I need that might not necessarily be specifically for travel. More business, paper, all that. All right, moving on to the main compartment. Well, actually before that, these side pockets. Amazing. This one, wallet. Other one, passport. Hip pockets are amazing. Okay, one more feature, the laptop compartment. I didn't actually bring a laptop this time, but this goes, lays flat, which is nice if you do have a laptop, but I have a second backpack. This is the Tom Bin Daylight Packpack, 19 liters, and it can either fit in the laptop compartment, or I can roll it up and put it in the water bottle pocket holder on the side. So, let's see. Here's my USB cable, headphones, more snacks on the plane. So like, I like using this backpack as either my day pack for when I get to the place, or I use it on the plane if I have a longer flight and I need more entertainment. Calculator from the training I went to. And my textbook. And as you can see, there's like these flaps in the back. You can put clothes in there so it has a rigid back, but it's just soft. All right. Zip this up. To the main compartment. First thing you might notice is I roll my clothes. And I do this because they take up less space and they avoid wrinkles. And pro tip, just when you get to your hotel wherever you're staying, Put them on a hanger, gets the wrinkles right out. So let's go to these pockets though. So remember my business trip was six days, five nights. So one, two, three, four, five pairs of underwear plus the one I got on. These aren't so nice, but actually these underwear Sacks, 
If you're a guy, get them. They're amazing. You want quick drying, can dry overnight, breathable. Yeah, they're good. Socks, one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, five pair, plus one I got on, six days. I like to have a pair of underwear for every, for like at least a week. And then if I'm staying longer than a week, I just wash them. But since it's only six days, that's all I needed. And then socks, make sure you get merino wool. They just don't stink. Let's go to the main bag now. At the top, my toiletries bag. This is another Tom Den product, but you can really get anything because the nice thing that you really want is the hook, so you can hang it. But, deodorant. This did have mouthwash in it. Hair gel. Floss. Toothpaste. Toothbrush. Moving on. So, these are my favorite pants. They're the Outlier Slim Dungarees. They, if you like jeans, are as durable as jeans, but half the weight, half the size, super compact, great travel pants, just a little spendy. So I have one pair of pants, two pairs of pants. There it is. Three pairs of pants. One pair of shorts. Plus the one I got. So I didn't bring pants for every single day. I just wear the last one I worn later on in the week and I just let it air hang so it doesn't smell, dries out. It's all good. You don't need to wash your pants every single time you wear them. Going on to shirts. Merino wool again. I just love merino wool for travel because it doesn't stink. These are the Arcteryx A to B polo. Great, because I went to Florida. It's hot, muggy. So one pair of shirt, one pair, one shirt, another polo, three polos, and one merino wool t-shirt. So same principle with the pants. I don't need to bring a pair of like pants and shirts for every single day I'm traveling. I just need enough where I can cycle through them so they can air hang or if I need to wash them. Now, I did bring a sweater even though it was hot. And this is just, um, what is it? Unique low, that's how you say it. Merino wool long sleeve shirt. And this is a great layering piece. You just can wear it over a shirt and it's a lot of warmth. Merino wool again, doesn't stink. This is my fleece. I don't remember what this one is. This is a, a Mammoth fleece. I don't even know the brand, but I'll link all this stuff below so you can look at it if you want to, but just a really lightweight fleece. And what I really like about this fleece is, see there's like air holes, so it's super breathable. So this makes a great layering piece, you know, if you're active but it's a little chilly. It still keeps you warm, and if you put a hard shell over it, like a rain jacket over it, it keeps you toasty. All right, that is the main pack, and that's everything I brought besides what I'm wearing. And I'm wearing a t-shirt, another pair of pants, and I'll take them off for you. I only brought one pair of shoes, and these are the Viva Barefoot Gobi. They just look good. They're, they're flexible. You can pack them if you need to, but I don't like bringing more than one pair. These are just really, really nice shoes. Easy to slip on and off. If I'm going to a little more adventurous place, then I'll bring my high top ones. The high top meaning they just go right below my ankle or above my ankle. But I'll link those two. I think those are the Gobi 2s. And then another piece, excuse me one moment. is the belt. And if you don't have one of these, get it right now because it's a slider. So 
the beauty of it is you can adjust it while you're sitting down in like a six hour flight. You're expanding a little. So much better. And that about does it. The importance that I have found in packing is layering. You don't need a big heavy thing. If you do have a big heavy thing, then wear it on the airplane. That's the best way to do it. Don't pack it. And then yeah, just wear, just have light layers that you can layer up, whether it's hot or cold. The idea is you don't want one piece to serve one role. You want one piece to serve multiple roles. And I know I talked a lot about merino wool and technical fabrics and kind of like that, but use what you got. And yeah, it might not be perfect. Maybe even bring less if it's even bulkier, but try to make it work. But just try to bring your lighter layers, no matter where you go, layer up or layer down. So much easier. One bag, skip the checkout lines. All right, I hope you enjoyed what's in my bag and I'm gonna go do laundry. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and we have, uh, for the ladies out there, my partner Bethany, the Herify of his and Herify, wrote her own article on what she brings. So if you need ideas, I'll send you over that way. All right, see ya.